having me here with me, um, Jefferson Saki. Uh, he's a member of the uh, National Planning Committee of the Ghana City um, Anniversary. We're going to have brief interactions with him, find out from him exactly what is going to happen here on the grounds at the Independence Square. Uh, Jefferson, you're welcome. Thank you. Great seeing you and uh, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to yes. you. <laughs> okay, so today is a set match. Ghana is 60 today. We're on the grounds at the Independence Square. Can you Talk us through exactly what we'll be having here today. Mm. Uh, I think today is a very unique day for our country. I mean, looking at a country, you know, that came through a lot of difficult times, you know, the struggle for independence, exactly what happened on the 28th February crossroads shooting incident, uh, you know, the struggles of the big six, and of course, the struggles of the very ordinary Ghanaian, be it the farmers, the teachers, you know, all those who contributed to the success story of our independence. We keep saying that today is a day to reflect on how far we've come as a nation, where we are and where we want to go as a nation. And the focus has always been mobilizing for Ghana's future uh, for this year's anniversary. That is to say that what you want to achieve at the end of the day is to bring the country together in oneness, in unity. And so what is going to happen today is actually going to be on that particular theme. So instead of having just students in Accra marching past the president, the military, the police, you're also going to have a regional representation of all 10 regions displaying the cultural significance of what they stand for right here at the Independence Square, especially because you have a lot of people coming in, dignitaries. Uh, in fact, I, I confirmed this morning that 14 African countries are, uh, are, are solidarizing with us or are with us in, in this anniversary celebration uh, at exactly 4.30 a.m. Uh, the Zimbabwean President, His Excellency Robert Mugabe, touched down. Remember, this is also an independent president who gained independence for Zimbabwe back in 1980. You have our uh, our neighbor, uh, the president of Togo, Fuwe Nyasimbe, also in the country at this moment. So it's going to be a very interesting day. What we have put together as a national planning committee, which of course has been the debate over and over again, is how to ensure that you still have children on the ground marching and at the same time securing or ensuring their security. So as part of that, what we plan as a national planning committee is to have the kids march past the president, salute him, and then after that they take their seat. So the kids are not going to be in the sun throughout the period, four hours, five hours sometimes. They are going to march past the president and then salute him. Look, this is a very interesting debate because growing up as a child, for example, I was always happy, even at the district level, when you are selected to march, you know, or salute your president it is a national pride that you don't want to take up that away from the kids so in as much as you want to you know find a way of resolving that particular problem we thought that this strategy or this approach perhaps will be the best for all of us Okay. Now, um, uh, proud, uh, proud to um, the launch. I mean, at the launch of the 60th uh, million independence anniversary, we set out uh, what some people described as an ambitious target of raising 20 million Ghana cities from, you know, corporate Ghana um, to celebrate this. And now we understand that uh, you've not even gotten half of the, that money that, you know, um, that target that you set for yourself. In fact, in some few, last few days, we saw um, um, a, a memo from the Counter General's Department um, saying that um, 10,000 Ghana cities will be released to, you know, the regions to be for them to be able to celebrate um, Ghana at 60. What happened to that target of 20 million Ghana cities? No, I mean this is a this is a request that um, we made to the general public, you know, to corporate Ghana, to individuals who are willing to contribute, you know, to the success of the anniversary celebration. It is important to note that majority or many people come in to contribute not with finances, but sometimes with their own strength. You have people who came and say that, look, I mean. After today's March pass, of course, people are going to drink iced water, you know, you know, mess the place up and all that. They have come with their own strength. They say that after the, the parade, they would clean up and, and all that. Look, the 20 million Ghana cities that has actually been allocated for the celebration of the 60th independent anniversary is not meant for just the parade. It's a, an entire year program. You are looking at, for example, the president this morning uh, um, uh, commissioned uh, uh, a national cathedral that is going to be a big cathedral, uh, interdenominational cathedral, you know, for, for the Christian community. Uh, what we are building are also 60 libraries and 60 deprived communities across the length and breadth of our country. And we think it is very important for us to keep, you know, hitting on this particular uh, thing. Yesterday, the president also uh, commissioned or inaugurated the Heads of State Museum at the Christiansburg Castle. I mean, these are some of the things that we're putting together in ensuring 
that at the end of the day, whatever we, we set, whatever target we set, the 20 million Ghana cities that has been the target is quite accountable, you understand. And so uh, for the National Planning Committee, we are going to ensure that every single contribution, every single penny that is actually submitted to us is made known to the general public. And I think that is the most important thing. Our focus at this particular point in time is to think of how we can come together as a nation, unify in oneness, ir ir irrespective of which political party you belong to, what language you speak, what religious background you are from, for all of us to come together and then, you know, celebrate the 60th independent anniversary in modest, in modest, I must say. So will today's parade be um, a climax of the activity, the activities that we've lined up for um, the Ghana 60 celebration, or we still have um, some other programs coming up after this? I can say that today's is not a climax. Today's is actually the launch, you know, because we're, we're 60 years today. And so uh, one significant thing, for example, that is going to happen is that His Excellency, the President, after lighting the perpetual flame, is also going to uh, light the independence anniversary torch. That is the torch that the President is going to give to one sportsman and the sportsman chosen is Berima Azuma Nelson, who, who uh, of course, flew the flag of our nation all over the world. Remember, WBC super featherweight champion. On several occasions, he was on the international platform projecting, you know, the uniqueness of our, of our, of our sports in this country. And so he would have the, uh, um, the independence anniversary torch, and then he's going to run all the way to the Accra Sports Stadium and then deliver that torch to the Ghan Traditional Council and the minister of the, I mean, the Greater Accra Regional Minister. The significance of that is that this anniversary torch is going to crisscross the length and breadth of our country. So from Accra, it's going to move to another region. So Accra is first because, I mean, this is where we're starting the anniversary. Uh, this is where uh, most of the things are going to happen, at least from now till the 17th of March. In fact, tomorrow, for example, there is a big international concert that is going to feature uh, the American uh, gospel sensation, Don Moyne, Darling Zedge, plus our locals, uh, Josh Lai, uh, Mbia, and all those people. So it, it is going to be a very, very interesting anniversary celebration. What we call on every single Ghanaian is to help us, is to be with us, is to be in the mood, fly the flag of our nation. Remember on the 1st of March, we declared it the, the flag dripping day. So from the 1st of March throughout the entire year, we expect that every single Ghanaian will fly the flag of our country. Now, um, uh, let's say, you know, life begins at 40, and Ghana is 60. At age 60, uh, we expected to have made, you know, some considerable, you know, achievements in a lifetime. Looking at Ghana as a country and the team, the theme that was chosen for this celebration, mobilizing for Ghana's future, what, what measures, what concrete measures are we putting in place to make sure that, you know, we reach that goal that we've set for ourselves before the celebration itself, you know, commence. You know, usually we set targets for ourselves, we set teams for ourselves, and we deviate entirely um, uh, from the theme. What concrete measures are we putting in place? What practical measures are we putting in place to see to the realization of this theme? Mm. I think it is important to note that, look, we, we all understand that we have our own challenges as a country. Uh, of course, the, the country's economy is not that strong as we speak. But we also have to accept the fact that there are various successes that we've achieved as a nation. Growing up as a child, for example, I knew of one national television broadcaster. You wake up in the morning, it is only GBC that is giving you the news. Today as we speak, there are several, several television stations in, in Accra and in Ghana alone. And so I use that benchmark as, as, as a, a great signal because at the end of the day, it's quite progressive, but it's got its own challenges. So what we think is that in as much as we want to highlight the challenges that we face as a nation, we also have to pinpoint the successes that we have achieved and find ways of resolving it and, and making it better and, and all that sort. So the measures are quite enormous. The entire year is going to be in a very celebratory mood, but we are doing this with all modest. As the president said, you are celebrating, you are reminiscing, you are thinking, you are pondering about where you came from, where you want to be, and where I mean, and where you are as a nation. So uh, there are several measures that we are putting in place. For example, the building of the 60 libraries and the 60 deprived communities that we set aside, for example, is to ensure that at the end of the day, you don't have everything centralized in the regional capital. For example, Greater Accra, Kumasi, uh, Cape Coast, having the celebration alone. No, you are looking out for deprived communities in all these regions to ensure that it's very smooth at the end of the day. Thank you very much, Jefferson Saki, for speaking to us. Okay, so... Uh, Join News wishes all viewers happy 
Independence Day.